space station. GB1SS, Golf Bravo 1 Sierra Sierra. This is GB1DHS, Golf Bravo 1 Delta Hotel Sierra. Listening and standing by for a scheduled contact with the International Space Station. GB1SS, Golf Bravo 1 Sierra Sierra. This is GB1DHS. Golf Bravo 1 Delta, Hotel Sierra, listening and standing by for a scheduled contact with the International Space Station. GB1 DHS, Tim, welcome to the Derby. Are you ready for your first question? You have become an inspiration to young people. How do you feel about this? Over. Hi, Mia. Well, you know, when I was assigned to my mission, it's just a huge privilege to be able to go into space, and I wanted to share this opportunity with as many people as possible, and also to try and use it to inspire young people to think about their futures and uh, to think about science and space and exploration in a different way. So I hope I've been able to do that. Over. Tim, we have you on Ham TV. Give us a wave in Derby. High school. Hi, I'm Lewis, and my question is, is it possible to detect dark matter whilst in space? Over. Hi, Lewis. Yes, it is. We have an experiment outside the space station called the Alpha Magnetic Spectrometer, which is a great name, and it's actually currently detecting dark matter, and it's been looking for a number of years, and it's going to stay on the space station for a few more years to come. Over. Hi, Tim. This is Aisha asking, how do you get enough electricity to power everything we see on the ISS? Over. Hi Aisha, we have huge solar panels outside the space station. In fact, it was my job on a spacewalk to go and repair part of the electrical equipment that took the electrical energy from the solar panel, and that's what powers everything you see on the space station. We have enough power up here to power about 90 homes. Over. Hi, I'm Paul, and I would like to ask a question on behalf of Howard. Do you think you will get to go on another space mission, and what might it be? Over. Hi Paul, you know I'm very lucky, the European Space Agency has a great track record of flying with astronauts and there are plenty more missions coming up to all sorts of destinations and we hope the moon will be one of those in the 2020s. I think Mars is probably outside of my career time frame so over. Hi, I'm Shahan and my question to you is, can disease as we know it on Earth exist in space? Over. Hi Shahan, yes, disease can exist in space uh, as you know on Earth. In fact, we have some experiments outside the space station that are testing just how well some forms of bacteria and microorganisms can cope with the vacuum and the temperature fluctuations in the space. Over. Hi, this is Leah. What everyday task has become more complicated in space? Over. The sun looks yellow from Earth. Does it look different from space? Over. I think that yes, the sun is different. It's white. We don't get any going through the atmosphere, so we see a pure white ball of light. It's very, very bright, and we don't look at it. Over. This is Francesca. I would like to ask if you can invite two guests past or present to join you for dinner on the ISS, who would they be and why? Over. Uh, that's a fun question. Obviously, present, I would uh, invite my family to be here. I miss them very much, but other than that, I think past 
would be absolutely to Isaac Newton. Uh, my mission is named in his honour, and I think it will be wonderful for him to work while we've come today, and for him to be able to put some of his laws into practice up here on the space station. And also present, uh, I think, Professor Stephen Hawking. I would love to give him the opportunity to come up and see planet Earth from space. Over. Hi, this is Rosie asking Malika's question. Does your heart beat faster or slower in space? Over. Rosie, your heart beats slower normally in space because it doesn't have to work so hard. It has a really easy time pumping the blood around your body because it's not having to fight against gravity. So the heart muscle uh, normally shrinks a little bit and it pumps slower. Over. Hi, this is Hamad. Would you encourage your children to become astronauts? Over. Hi, Hamad. You know, I think the most important thing is to let uh, your children make their own choices and to, to do what they're passionate about. That's what I've done throughout my life. So I would just encourage my children to follow their dreams and to follow what makes them happy and what they're passionate about. Over. Hi, this is Leah asking Tom's question. Do molecules and atoms behave differently in space? Over. Hi, Leah. Well, everything in space obeys the, the laws of gravity. So, yes, that affects molecules and atoms. Uh, and so they do behave differently, which is why we see these changes in microgravity to what's compared back to on planet Earth. Over. Hi, this is Lewis, and I'm asking Ahmed's question. Is it easier to see other planets in the solar system from the ISS? Over. Hi Lewis, uh, yes, I, I think the planets are a little bit brighter and a little bit easier to see. Certainly Mars seems to stand out more from up here than it does on Earth. Over. This is Aisha asking Kainat's question. If you could visit your younger self, what would you say about your experience? Over. Hi Aisha, you know, I, I would never have dreamed, my younger self would never have dreamed that I'd be up here on the space station talking to you uh, down on planet Earth today. So I would just encourage myself to not change anything and to do exactly the same as I've done, over. Hi, this is Paul and I'd like to ask a question on behalf of Sidra. What is your most important experiment and how will it benefit down here on Earth? Over. Hi Paul, it's very difficult to choose one experiment out of 250 that we're doing up here, uh, but personally I enjoy, I think the protein crystal growth experiment has got tremendous potential for helping to develop new drugs against disease. Over. Hi, this is Shahan and I would like to ask a question on behalf of Tyler. Do movies like Gravity give a realistic picture of being in space? Over. That's a fun question. I enjoyed Gravity uh, just because it was it was a great movie. The, the cinematography and the way it depicted Planet Earth was beautiful. Uh, but the science fiction was not quite accurate. Over. Hi, this is Leah asking Fatima's question. You are completing over 200 experiments. How will they benefit us here on Earth? Over. I feel we're investigating all sorts of things. Just alone. We've got the protein crystal growth I spoke about. I'm doing experiments on the uh, electromagnetic levitator, looking into new materials, new metal alloys that we could be developing. And of course, I'm doing lots of experiments on my own human body, which will hopefully benefit people in terms of uh, medical treatments back on Earth as well. Over. Hi, Tim. This is Nathan. And I'm asking Oliver's question. If you fired a bullet in space, how far would it go? Over. Hi Nathan, what a great question. Uh, well, it would simply obey the laws of physics and it wouldn't stop until something stopped us. And it would just travel according to space-time, so it would uh, change its direction according to any gravitational influences that, it, that came upon it. Over. This is Francesca. I'd like to ask a question on behalf of Aisha. Why, why do you wear a missing patch on your spacesuit? Over. Hi Francesca, well you know it's, uh, space missions uh, don't come around that often so it's nice when you have a mission to be able to uh, uh, name it after somebody or something and just create a patch around it. I was just really fortunate to have this patch here, you know, done as a competition and uh, designed by uh, Troy on Blue Peter and I'm really proud of that mission patch. Over. Hi this is Rosie, I'd like to ask you to see it grow faster in space than on Earth. Over. Hi Rosie, you know, they don't grow faster, but they do grow differently. The uh, plants don't know where, which way is up or down because there's no gravity. And normally, uh, plants like to know which way is down. The roots will grow down and the stem will grow up and then they'll look for the light. 
So they still grow towards the light source, but the root systems in microgravity are all tangled up and they don't know which way to grow. Over. Hi, this is Hamad asking for the question. Will being back on Earth ever, ever be the same for you? Over. Hi, Hamad, yes. I think for me, being back on Earth will be the same. I'm looking forward to getting back on Earth, um, and seeing friends and family and breathing fresh air again. Uh, so I think it will feel quite normal for me. Over.